All right, we're here at Old Dominion Open down in Richmond, Virginia. We're about to, to go in, register, all that kind of stuff. Really excited. Uh, we went last night to the uh, the local, local shop that has a build night and kind of hung out a little bit. Checked it out, talked to some people, and uh, the feel I got is this is going to be a bigger show than last year because it's, you know, further from COVID and all that kind of stuff. They don't have uh, model restrictions in terms of uh, limits and how many you could have this year. So uh, hopefully there'll be a lot of stuff on the table and I'm really looking forward to it. So let's uh, head on in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was on Thursday. Thankfully, it was all all good for Friday. Okay. 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 Okay an online model shop, so I come Mecca Warehouse. Mecca. So we do like all the Gundam, that kind of stuff. So we sent down some, some raffle prizes and stuff. And yes, yeah. And so I, this is the third time we've been down now. We come down, we film, film a little bit for the content and stuff. There's a large contingent of that kind of builder down here, so. It's Everybody uh, says you guys are the future. Yeah. Uh, World War II guys. Uh, you're getting this documented, huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll do a vlog and interview a bunch of people and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you have like a, uh, so, so could I hear that on, a web, on your website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you go to uh, YouTube slash C slash Mecca Warehouse, that's our YouTube channel, and we'll, we'll be posting them over the next couple months probably. We do it every every year. It's good stuff. It's good. Make sure I'm in it. Yeah. <laughs> No, this is this is the only one I brought. <laughs> And you can see the base is like a little because <laughs> I can't. See the the wood part to cut that piece of wood square yeah. is actually pretty easy. Yeah. With the right tools. These this is just one that I bought at like a hardware store or something. Yeah. And I just I just built this to go around it. Yeah. Because I really want to get some woodworking tools to like you know do my own wood and shit. Because like what I did for mine when I was cutting the wood for my base, I just took I. Uh, 
I cut it to length first and then I ripped it on the table oh, saw. Smart. So I cut it to length and I had to cut it to length. I, I picked this up from watching Treehouse Masters of All Things, nice. which is a reality show yeah. from yeah, like, whatever you I used to watch it. It's a yeah. fun show. So you just take a speed square mm. and you hold it against the thing and then you run the circular saw across it and then it, nice. you got a you got a fence to run against. So you don't oh, have to worry about cool. the waviness yeah. that happens when you try to hand cut it. That's cool. Like stupid that's really simple, simple I don't too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't know that before. The, the, the side of the hobby that a lot of people don't think of is like the, there's a community aspect to it, right? And being able to share share stuff with people and see what they're doing, talk to people, and, yeah. and all that stuff. It's good good stuff. What do you got on the table? Oh, uh, I got that seven sword that's right okay. there, okay. and the banshee that's over there. Yeah, okay. The perfect range. Yeah. You go going big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got my hands twitch a lot, so you know the bigger parts a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. a little more so forgiving. Trying to build a real great and it looks like this drop and yeah. everything. So how many how many hours do you think are into those? I, I want to paint like a perfect grade at some point, but I, I know how long it takes me to paint a high grade, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be a commitment. Well, uh, the Banshee took me six months. Okay. Uh, working on it for about five hours a day, five days a week. <laughs> and the <laughs> Seven Sword <laughs> took about four, four and a half. Okay. But the Seven Sword got more detail on it than the Banshee. <laughs> So, yeah. so at my my rate of painting for like two to four hours a week, it would take me. Like four well, I mean, years. Banshee, that's the first one I ever painted. Okay. Uh, that's why I think why it took me so long. Okay. And then you know I'd already built four or five of them by the time I did the seventh one. Mm -hmm. so. It certainly helps. Yeah, but it takes a lot of paint. I, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I, I, I just know what I go through painting the, you know, the smaller ones and I'm like, I, I want to do like, you know, master grade next and well, What makes it easier it too is if you mix the paint, custom mix it. Yeah. Like that Banshee is like, the, that blue right. is like seven different paint colors okay. mixed together. Yeah. So you must have to make a really big batch then to make yeah, sure you have yeah. enough. Yeah, I had to go back and make it three times because I didn't have enough. Yeah. That's got to be nerve wracking. Because if you get the ratio off just a little bit yeah. and all that stuff. You paint one over and then you look at it, it's like, oh man, I just messed up. <laughs> that one's darker than that one. Right. Gotta, yeah. gotta be careful which parts you paint first so you can, yeah. oh no, there's supposed to be a shadow there. That's, yeah. that's on purpose. Yeah, yeah, and no, everything's good. Securing, securing stock to cover pre-orders and getting some good restocks in and stuff. So. Did you bring stuff for Halloween? No, no, because so, we're we're based in New Hampshire, right? New Hampshire right, yeah. has no sales tax, so you don't charge sales tax anywhere. As soon as we start trying to sell stuff like here, yeah. now we now we technically need to start charging sales tax, and I think yeah, that, I think they'd have a case if they tried to like New Hampshire. Literally has a law that says if like. If let's say the state of Virginia wanted to, to say you got to charge sales tax, they have to tell the sec the attorney general's office I think like 45 days before they're allowed to talk to me. Yeah. Because I think the state plans to defend anybody that they have to because because that's, that's a competitive that's advantage whole, for New Hampshire. That's a whole lot more steps for you to go through and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, right. It's it's right. a pain in the ass yeah. to do it. So and then transporting everything like I flew down here and yeah. it's easy, but if I were I'd have to like rent a truck and. 
drive. Yeah, it's it's always a good time. This is my first time. Okay. At Odeon, so cool. Well, I have friends here who collect it all the time. So cool. Nice to see different kits in person for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely different than seeing them in pictures, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah I know. Everything's different in person, right? <laughs> you guys show up, like, whenever I put my Instagram, like, you guys are, like, one of the first two reels I find. I'm like, that's it. I know what I'm watching on lunchtime. <laughs> trying to find the fine kids. It's always just like, all right, let's see. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice to see that extra kind of content from the warehouse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good stuff. It's, it's good not to have to do everything myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder what's going on in the warehouse right now. <laughs> Oh, hello. Here we are today in the ceremonial name day joust for our Queen Dabby Day. And on one side we have Sir Dylan of House ES. On the other side, Sir Ethan of the Prince of Hatty. Joust in thy name of thy lady's arm. I got the power of God and the enemy on my side. Friday while I was traveling, and oh, so yeah. I was supposed to have that that cut so that way they can cut in them doing something ridiculous and oh, purpose. Just to... oh, you... <laughs> you, you look like him. I see your ads yeah, on yeah, my yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Cool. It's amazing. It's nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Is any, did you bring any kids? Yeah, I've got two on the table. I've got this uh, Dom over here, the gray and purple one, oh, that's and then there's a Leo flight type up on the stand, the blue one over there. Did you bring anything? Yeah, uh, that MG Barbados right over there. Right okay. Right there, Mace and that Tana. Okay. I brought that one in. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> I hope you win. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to. There's, there's so I many know. good builds here. There's, there's so many, especially it's a, it's a, that LED lights. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good place to lose because you know you're like, oh, I didn't get beaten by something that's crap. Like, everything's yeah. good. So if you... But it's nice to bring it in and just see uh, the whole city. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And just show your work for what you have. Right. A lot of good stuff. A lot of really good stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice talking to you. There's really good builders and they're like pulling everybody else up with them. They're like, hey, try this, fix that, you know, and it's, it's good. Yeah, I'm, I uh, talk with Hoskin House all the time. Yeah. He's in the area. His stuff is good. It's pretty amazing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's good stuff. I think he, 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 painting is great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, good luck. Good talking to you, man. Yeah. See you, uh, see you around here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? I remember seeing you from last year. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Thanks yeah. for coming out again. Yeah, no problem, man. How do you like it this year? Some it's good. This, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking top tier. Yeah. Like, I was like, I'm so glad I didn't enter in anything over here this year because... <laughs> It's good, because if I lose and it looks like this, I yeah. feel good about losing.
Okay, London. Our favorite categories that ladies can't pronounce. In third place, uh, category six and three, Gunman 1144th and Smaller, Universal Century. Third place is Tarzan by Nick. Second place is Ziku Lines by Clay. First place is RX314 Reebok Fit by Sack Matha. wrapping up the day here. They just finished the awards, so we'll be heading out, looking forward to getting home and all that kind of stuff. But it was a good day. Uh, tons of great models today. Absolutely incredible work. There were a ton of like very, very high level entries. Uh, and you know, Obviously the, the best of them won. And uh, yeah, it was a good show. A lot of great conversations. And uh, hopefully you'll see that in the vlog and uh, see that in the, the interviews that we'll have uh, be publishing over the coming weeks and months. Um, but yeah, it was a good one. So thank you guys all for, for watching and uh, see you next time.